Hey guys, let's take a look at graphing inequalities. So you'll need to draw some number lines here and make these as simple and easy as possible. You don't have to make them look exactly like what I have on the screen. I'll, I'll give you a tip on that in a second, but make sure you know what these symbols mean. Um, we know what an equal sign means, right? Okay, an inequality means it is not equal. So if something is great, that's greater than. In other words, we'd say nine is greater than five. This is less than, we'd say three is less than 27. 0.8. That's an 8. Okay. Less than or equal to, now that's something different. And sometimes, um, you, let's say you're doing an experiment in chemistry and you need less than or equal to a certain amount of, I don't know, uh, uranium. Let's say you're doing something in your basement with uranium. Okay. You need, it, you know, less than or equal to 50 pounds of uranium, you know, to blow, or to, excuse me, to um, experiment on, on some nice procedures there, okay? And not any more than that, all right? And also, this is greater than or equal to. So in other words, let's, let's say you're, you're messing around with uh, plutonium and you need uh, at least 50, you know, tons of plutonium for your experiment or more. It, it, less than 50 tons, I, I just won't do it. No. So you need to know, you have to add at least that amount. So anyway, We'll use those to graph things. So let's do an example here. By the way, when you're doing these and making these, please do not write them this complicated. These need to be quick Saxon math problems. These need to be the ones that you do in like 20 seconds, okay? So when it, for, for example, when it says graph this and it says X is greater than two, all you need to do is go like this, okay? Um, I'll show you. Don't do that, don't do this. Just go like this, go, okay. There's a number line and there's a two right there. That's what I do. Don't do anything else except for two. When it says X is greater than two, to, the way you graph that is to go, okay, well, it doesn't include two, but it includes everything else to the right of two. So what you'll go like this is you'll kind of fill in this part of the line right there. And what you're gonna do is to, to, to show to the reader that you're not including two is you're gonna put a, an open circle right here. So everything to the right of two, that's what you'll take. It's only greater than two, all right? I'll show you a, little, a slightly different variation here. If it's X is less than or equal to two, again, go ahead and go like this. Just draw, draw a number line, boom, and then a two like that, okay? This time, it's gonna be less than two. So it'll be everything woo, like this, all the way to make yourself a nice little thick line there. But they're saying also that it can be equal to two as well. So if it can be equal to, and it can include to, what you're gonna do, instead of having an open circle like that, you're gonna have a closed circle. That shows that the, the person looking at this knows, oh, I, I can include two in my experiment with plutonium, okay, all right? Um, and that's basically it. So greater than, equal than, you know, if this were, for example, to say something like X is greater than or equal to, you know, negative 11, make this as simple as possible. Go like this, go whoop, like that, you negative 11, greater than or equal to, I mean, that's, you're gonna include that negative 11 and then everything to the right. Don't make this complicated to make these really hard to draw. Just draw one number and go whichever way it needs to go. Okay, all right, on page 229, let's get those four done. Draw pictures and then quickly as you can and come on back. Okay, A, X is greater than negative two. You do not uh, close the line in. You just go like this and ye, there we go. Okay, B, X is greater than or equal to negative two, means it's the same exact thing, but this time you're going to put a closed in circle and everything to the right, because it's greater than that way. Okay, less than or equal to four means you're at four, it is equal to four, and it is also less than four. So you're gonna go this way with it. You won't go the other way. That's a beautiful line, isn't it? Okay, all right, less than negative four, you're gonna go over here to negative four, it does not include negative four, so it's an open circle and you go to the left, and there you go. And that's how you'll graph those inequalities. Okay, good luck. Make those fast ones that you go, oh yeah, I got this, boom. Okay, make those part of your fast ones and your lessons from now on. Okay, see you next time, bye.